Let's get connected to Google Apps. The first thing you'll need to know is that the browser you use makes a difference. The best browser choice is to use Google Chrome or Google Chrome Portable. If you can't use those and you're on a wired USB computer, your best choice is Firefox. I'm going to quickly show you why not to use Internet Explorer. For many teachers and students, our default browser of choice is Internet Explorer because that's what we've used for years. Unfortunately, Google Apps won't work with such an old version of Internet Explorer as we currently have on the Wired ESB's image. Here's what happens when you try and log in to Google Apps using Internet Explorer. You'll get past the first login page OK, but then you'll see a warning at the top of your screen. Once you've created a document, the warning will continue and ultimately you'll be notified that Google Apps just won't work with this ver version of Internet Explorer. If this happens, close Internet Explorer and open Firefox. The icon to start Firefox is located on your desktop. When you click it, you'll notice in the bottom right of your screen that you'll see a notification that Mozilla Firefox is loading. The first screen that pops up will inform you that your Firefox is out of date. Don't worry about it. Just continue on and navigate to google.wiredsb.ca. Then you'll be prompted to sign in. Ultimately, the best browser used with Google Apps is Google Chrome or Google Chrome Portable. You should now see a link on your screen that will take you to the Wired ESB Google Help page where shortcuts to download both browsers are available. The advantage of Google Chrome Portable is that it can be installed into the H drive of a student or teacher computer at school. It can also be installed to a memory stick. It won't be deleted when the computer is rebooted so students and teachers can come back to it in the future. The remainder of this tutorial will be captured using Google Chrome. Before we begin, please make sure that you've signed out of any other personal Google accounts or Gmail accounts. You can do this by going to your Google Mail homepage at mail.google.com and checking to see if you're signed in. If your mailbox comes up, please sign out using the box in the top right of the page. Once you're sure you're not signed in to any other Google accounts, please visit google.wiredsb.ca. You'll come to our single sign-on page. Your sign-in credentials are the same as your board email for teachers. Students will use your student number the same way that you log into the board's computers. Check to make sure that you're on the right domain. Students and teachers are on the EDU domain, while administrators are on the WireDSB domain. Enter your username and password, then click Login. You'll come to the welcome screen welcoming to your, you to your new account. Please pay attention and note that your domain administrator, that's the school board, will have access to your at gaps.wiredsb.ca account information, including your email. This is not a personal account. It's your board, work, or school account. When you're done reading the agreement, continue on by clicking I accept, continue to my account. Your home page for Google Drive will load. Notice in the middle of the screen that there's a prompt to download Drive for Mac or PC depending on which computer you're accessing it from. You'll have the ability to close this once you've added your first document to Google Drive by clicking on the X that will appear here in the top right corner. 